What's up everybody? Kevin from Stingray Biology here. You ever have one of those days when things go wrong, they all happen at once? You know, you can have weeks and weeks where everything's fine and nothing to do and nice and peaceful, and all of a sudden that one day, just everything just hits all at once. Everything that can possibly go wrong will go wrong. It's that I have a lot of catching up to do. I have so many messages I need to reply to. Got tons of people wanting to buy stingrays. Tons of people asking me questions. I got maintenance to do. All kinds of things going on. And you know, I got it's just, I gotta pay rent. I gotta pay bills. So many things. And now more things come up. And these are things I can't ignore. I, I gotta take action right away. I got this filter here that started leaking and dripping, dripping. I just have a basket temporarily catching it that was that's one problem that's happening and that's not an easy fix you know I might have to like take apart the whole filter bring it out I might have to order parts and um, I got to start working on that I still got to finish up the system there yeah I got to get my packing tables done you know we got shipments on the way that needs to get done and now I have a problem somewhere in here and it's a huge mess here I've been stockpiling all kinds of junk here and look at what I see. I see wet boxes down here. I'm like, oh my goodness. I've never had any problems with this system before. But something's happening down here. And I got to figure it. Look, I'm moving stuff out. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it is all wet down there. Let me come around to the back. Get a little bit closer. See, I got water on the floor. Water right there. Kind of dark. I don't know what it is. It could be from the UV. It could be from the pump unions. It could be from the, the shaft seal on the pump. It could be any one of those things. And now I have to clear all this stuff out and dissect this problem and fix it. I mean, the only fortunate thing is I may have a little bit of time because the leak looks slow. But a slow leak at any moment can turn into a big leak and it will flood over here or you know a sump level start going down and the pumps can't run properly and i got a lot of fish in there i got my big danoid in there i got all my black diamond breeders i got my bosmani breeders so i need to get working on this as soon as possible um i'm gonna start clearing stuff out if i can find the problem i will let you guys know i will take you guys along as best i can but this is an emergency and i'm gonna try to fix it Right. It's been two days since I discovered the leak over here. I would, I wanted to wait and see what would happen because sometimes leaks, they can close up by themselves if it's a really small leak. And well, yesterday I saw that it was getting better and it was drying up. But then all of a sudden today I come in and it's more water than before. The water has now come across from the filter side over to over here and has even come around to the other side over here. So, this leak is getting worse. And now I gotta find the problem. See, it's all wet down here. And uh, I'm gonna have to get in there. So I'm gonna dry up the water a little bit first so that I don't get all wet going in there. And then I'm gonna try to see if I can pinpoint where the leak is coming from. Hopefully, it's something simple. And then, you know, maybe just tightening up something. That's the best case scenario. But if something's broken or cracked, then that means I'm gonna have to shut down the system and change the part, which is gonna be a lot more work. But before we jump the gun, let me just take a look and then I'll be right back. I vacuumed out as much water as I could over here and I'm vacuuming as much water as I can down here. So I'm starting to do the inspection, checking every possible join to see where this leak could be coming from. Here, pass me the camera. Right? So I want to show you guys what I'm checking for. I don't know if you guys can see it. So first is the UV lamp, right? I have four connections there and I have four connections here. And I've checked it all, it's all dry. So it's not coming from there. I've checked the union here and I've checked the unions. I've checked all the unions and everything is dry. So that's the UV, now the pump. I've checked the union connections on both pumps here and it's all dry sometimes with a pump um the how, how can i explain it the shaft in the middle there sometimes it leaks from there but i see nothing dripping so i still can't figure out where this leak 
is coming from. I'm gonna double check again. I visually inspected it. I've touched it with my hands. I've used uh, a dry tissue and placed it everywhere where there's a water connection and it's all dry. So where could this water be coming from? And this is all my filtration for that system is right here in this one spot. So I'm gonna dry it all up completely now and then see where the first sign of wetness I see on the floor is and then concentrate on that area again. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna vacuum some more water and dry this whole thing completely up and see if I can analyze it again. Okay. After drying everything out and I was drying for a really long time, must have been doing it for at least an hour, I finally am able to pinpoint where the leak is coming from but I still can't make sense of it because it's not coming from any union or join. It's just leaking from underneath the UV unit, okay? Let me show you guys now. So you see, I've completely dried up everything here. And now, the only spot where water still keeps coming out of is right here. I keep adding tissue after tissue and just water keeps coming out from here. So it is, it's not coming from any of these four heads. I looked very, very carefully, but yet it's coming from underneath the unit. Now it doesn't make sense that the unit is cracked or developing, developed a leak. So I, I guess maybe the only way to figure this out is for me to remove that UV unit and, and really water test it and see. Uh, but at least I know now that's where it is coming from. All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna have to take this thing apart. All right, after searching every possibility that I can think of, searching high, low, every joint, every connection, I finally am able, I finally am able to pinpoint where this leak is coming from. Check it out, guys, let me see. I'm gonna try to show you. It, it might be really tough to show, but I will do my best. I don't know if you guys can see it, let me see here. It's right there. You see the the rippling? There's water coming out right there. Alright. Crazy. Of all places for it to leak. What I gotta do now is shut down the system and remove this one UV and figure out how I can repair this. Okay, luckily there's unions here, so all I gotta do is shut down the system, drain down a little bit of water, okay, remove this union, I have another set of unions that I can now just screw right back on to cap it and close off the system, and that way the filtration can continue to run while I figure out how to fix this leak, and once that's done, we will be putting it back, of course. I'm glad at least I was able to find the source of the leak, now it's about fixing it, alright? All right, so. So while the system is draining down a little bit, what I gotta do is dismantle some of the electrical components of the UV. Uh, let me show you. Uh, I gotta remove the bulb, okay, which is right here. For each one, I gotta take it out. And then, since I'm dismantling the whole thing, I will be changing the UV bulbs. Look at it, it it's so old. It's already all like burned out. So here's one, can I take this one on? Don't break it. And it's just gonna remove them all. UV bulbs need to be changed about every year. Um, even though the light bulb is still working, after a year they start to lose their uh, their intensity or the, the the level of UV dosage. So it's so it's suggested to change it every year. So it's time, anyways. Okay. So now I got that taken care of. Um, I gotta sit this somewhere so it doesn't get wet because when I take this apart 
a lot of water is going to flood onto the floor and I don't want to get this wet. So I'll put that right there off the ground. All right. So um, I'll be back real soon, right when I'm ready to disassemble the UV from the plumbing. Okay. I'm ready to uh, take apart the plumbing here. I anticipate there's going to be a, a lot of water on the floor. So let's see how this goes. It's probably going to come flushing out. Open the other one too. gonna go everywhere. You know there's not much I can do about this. It's just gonna flood. Oh I hate making a mess like this but okay I know what to do. Let me go to that side and do that one. Okay. See what well, guys what I made here is this cap. So I'm gonna take off one side just whatever, whatever water comes out, comes out, and just do it as quick as possible to cap this one, and I'll maybe do one at a time to minimize the water. So let me go around to the other side and see if I can do it. Oh, all right, you freaky. Can you see me, Oi? Yes, no? Yeah, but I just see you do it, though. See your hand. Okay, here it goes. Oh, oh my goodness. OMG. That was fun. Um, I guess I don't need to shower tonight. Okay, that's a good idea. Uh, but I think that was most of the water. And uh, let me do this side now. And, you know, I have ball valves on the pump, on the in and the outs, and that helps a lot because now I'm only going to get water that's trapped in the system right here. If I didn't have those valves, then everything would come rushing out. I'm guessing there's probably not much water left in here now. I think everything came out from over there. That's the cool. this caps it off and I can continue to run my system all right let's take this outside and dump the water oh gosh it's heavy okay so let's see now yeah come in closer the leak was from right here I think you see right here? Mm -hmm. It seems to be chipped. Well, I don't know. Well, regardless, um, I'll figure out a way how to seal this up over here. Um, I don't think, I might have like installed this wrong. I think these are meant to like stand upwards. And since I had it laying down long term, with the heat of the UV and the weight of the water. This is the exact point of where the whole UV is laying down on. So it probably put a lot of pressure on there and uh, it might've opened it up. All right, so let me brainstorm on how to fix this. And when I got a fix, I will show you guys.